Station, Kiva Ocean, 81 Bravo Radio. My location, Kilo Ocean, 81 Bravo Radio. 73. Bye bye. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So a few months ago, I featured the ATS25 receiver on this channel. However, while going through some of the features and functions, it was apparent that some of them did not quite work well. Now, it wasn't until I come across the ATS25 Max from the All For Ham store on AliExpress that the previous model I had was actually incomplete in terms of hardware and software. So I was quite eager to try this version, which pretty much does look the same as the older version, but all of the features work. Now, if you haven't seen this receiver before, then let me quickly tell you about some of the specifications. So first off, it supports reception of the medium wave and long wave bands, as well as 1.7 megahertz up to 30 megahertz. So all of the HF bands and in between. It also supports FM broadcast, and with the little included telescopic antenna, it works quite well on that band. Now the ATS25 Max does have an internal rechargeable battery, and as this is a receiver only and does not transmit, the battery lasts a good amount of time. Now according to the specs, this is a 3.7 volt, 2000 milliamp hour lithium battery. Now this can be recharged using the supplied USB-C cable and then just plugging it into a computer or something like a mobile phone charger. Now the shell is made from a sturdy aluminium with a kind of nice brushed effect. As well as the top mounted speaker, there's also a 3.5 millimeter jack on the rear for plugging in headphones for private listening or feeding to an input on a computer, i.e. the sound card. Now that's particularly useful if you want to decode some digital modes like FTA or even SSTV. Now, as mentioned earlier, there are some features which now work on this model. These include a spectral scanning feature. Now, although it's a little slow, the steps and bandwidth can be adjusted. Now imagine this similar to a waterfall display from an SDR radio. I guess this is useful for seeing band activity without having to tune the VFO up and down the band. While not essential, other features which now work include the ability to adjust the LCD backlight, including turning it off. I guess this is useful for when using in a dark or light environment so the user can adjust it to their needs. The battery voltage and percentage can now be displayed correctly. Now this is most certainly useful if you're using portable and powering the ATS25 Max from the internal lithium battery. You can just keep an eye on it and then plug it in to charge when needed.
as well as support for HF, there's also support for FM broadcast. And as well as the usual frequency display, there's also a retro display where stations names are shown as you turn the VFO. As well as the predefined radio memories, there are also user memories, which you can edit, add and recall from a touch of a button or a touch of the display. Overall, the 2.4 inch color touchscreen does make the ATS25 Max quite unique. And along with its special features, the ATS25 Max is a nice little portable receiver. Now, the only downside I found is that there's a small whooshing sound when tuning. I found this on all radios of this type that use similar radio chips such as the SI4732. So it's not just the ATS25 Max. To me, it sounds something related to the AGC. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description to this product if you fancy getting one yourself. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.